So the reason why I've agreed to participate in the Agricultural Summit is quite simple. Uh, there's uh, been a lot of activity recently with regards to indoor farming and particularly vertical farming. And I know that there's a wonderful project going up in Linkaping, which is a, a, a plantagon sponsored project, which I have been uh, following very carefully for the last uh, two years. And uh, it'll be very exciting to see how much progress has been made there, but also to talk to the other people interested in the same concept. Bringing them all into one place is uh, such a marvelous thing. I have a sense about the fact that we're witnessing the beginning of the third green revolution, and that's basically why I want to be there. I want to be part of that. Hi, my name is Danielle Nirenberg, and I'm the co-founder and president of Food Tank, the food think tank. I'm thrilled to be able to participate in the Urban Ag Summit in Sweden this January, and I'll tell you why. Urban agriculture, despite its importance worldwide and the fact that at least a billion people are growing food on rooftops, in backyards, in empty lots, urban agriculture doesn't get the same support as rural agriculture does. And this is coming at the expense of millions of urban residents worldwide. We need to find ways and support ways for urban residents to grow food in cities for them to be able to feed themselves and combat not only climate change, but also high food prices. So that's why I'll be participating this year, and I hope to see you there. Yes, um, I'm very interested to be at the conference in the, on urban agriculture, because you Swedish, you succeeded in something which we tried a few years ago with pigs, namely raising pigs in cities, but we didn't succeed, and you're the first to do it with greenhouses. And I'm very jealous of, uh, of you, because the Swedish are not really a greenhouse country, and the Dutch are, but you still managed to put up the first vertical greenhouse. So, congratulations, and I'll see you in the conference.